This is Noah Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 through 68, describes. It describes curses that would come upon his people, Israel, if they disobeyed his commandments. And I'm going to quickly summarize what those curses were. And I want you to tell me when I get done, who in the world has experienced this? He said, if you disobey my commandments, here's what's going to happen to you. They are going to put iron shackles around your neck. And they're going to put you on ships and take you to a country that neither you nor your forefathers ever heard of. The people that will come to get you will come from the other end of the world. They'll speak a language you won't understand. They will be fierce and merciless. They won't care whether you're young or old. They'll sell you into slavery. They'll rape your women. They'll take your children from you and sell them. They'll make you build houses but won't allow you to live in those houses. They'll make you plant crops but they won't let you eat. They'll make you tend livestock and slaughter them and eat the best parts for themselves. Won't let you eat nothing but the leftovers. Today we call it soul food. He said you're going to live in terror day and night. Why? Because you will have no assurance for your life. Your, hang, your life will hang by a thread. And are not our children being shot in the streets daily with impunity? He said even the stranger will come to live among you and rise above you while you sink lower and lower. And do not foreigners move into our neighborhood, open up stores, and prosper, and build beautiful homes out in the suburbs, and come into the city, take our money. He said, God said, and I'm going to tell you something else. He says, everything you make, your oppressor is going to get. In the black community, over a trillion dollars goes through the black community every year. Now, what is a trillion dollars? Now, I, I know that sounds like a, a number. It's hard for you to wrap your mind around, but I'm going to share this with you. Uh, sister, I'm going to give you a million dollars right now, and an hour from now, I'm going to give you another million, and I'm going to do that every hour, on the hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, for 410 years and you'll have one trillion dollars. That's what goes through this community every year. And we don't own nothing. We don't control nothing. In harmony with Bible prophecy, that's exactly what God said was going to happen to us. And that's, that's exactly what's happened to us. Ministers and preachers and teachers trying to explain to you who you really are. That you are a child of God, yes, but even better, you are in a covenant relationship with Him. Which means there's a heavier obligation on you than anybody else on the planet. He expects more from us than anybody else. Why? Because we are in a covenant relationship with Him. And He sent His Son, the Christ, to die for us shed his blood so that we could have everlasting life. In fact, so that the whole world can have everlasting life. But we're the key to even their salvation. In other words, what I'm trying to explain is, God says, in the book of Amos, you can look it up for yourself, I think it's 8, 8, 11. He says, God says he will not expose any of his sacred secrets unless he exposes it to his prophets. And all of his prophets come out of what? Nation of people. Israel. You're it. These brothers and sisters have come to this location. They have sung to you. They have done rap music to you. They have preached to you. And they pleaded with you. Understand who you are. More than just a child of God, all of us are children of God. But you're in a special covenant relationship with the Almighty God. And don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself. Deuteronomy 
chapter 28, 15 through 68. Now, a lot of people wonder, well, how long is this going to go on? Did God give us any clue as to how long this is going to happen? Genesis 15, 13 and 14. He's talking to Abraham, our patriarch. Abraham was the father of all of Israel. You are all descendants of Abraham. And God told Abraham this, your children, your seed will become slaves in a country not theirs. And they will serve them.